Hi friends, it's November 22nd. We're finally back in the House of Commons after five months off because the Prime Minister called an unnecessary summer election. Here we are back in the same spot again, hoping to bring some actual real uh, oversight of government uh, operations here to the House of Commons. In the last week, a number of good things have happened for our files in Alberta in particular. Uh, one of those, of course, is the uh, decision by a U.S. judge to actually hold the hearings on Line 5 in the federal court. Now, you recall that this was being pushed to a state court by the government of Michigan, and that was determined that no, it should only happen at the federal court level. That happened largely as a result of what uh, the Foreign Affairs Minister in Canada, Mark Garneau, at that point in time, did on October 4th, when he intervened and invoked the Transit Pipeline Treaty. We were calling for him to do that from March, April, May, June, July, and August on. It was the only way through this, and by not invoking the treaty, we were leaving that space open so the U.S. government could say that there was no bilateral, there was no bilateral talks between our two nations at the time. So for the sake of a great pipeline that supplies a lot of our product across North America, huge step forward. The other big win last week, and a lot of my friends in the oil and gas industry in Calgary told me was that they were being called up to consult with Minister Freeland up in Edmonton on her approach to carbon capture utilization and sequestration. Now recall again, my bill in the last parliament, Bill 2C262, was to actually get a tax credit to implement carbon capture utilization and sequestration. Well, the Liberal government at that point in time unanimously voted against it, and the other opposition parties, the NDP and the Bloc, all joined forces to say, no, this bill can't go forward, while my Conservative colleagues all supported it. I'm looking forward to Minister Freeland's version of carbon capture, utilization and sequestration, because I don't think it'll be that much different from what I put forward on how we actually make our environment better with our energy industry. We're doing great work. And uh, these are great uh, progress. This is your opposition doing what oppositions are supposed to do, bring, good for, bring forth good ideas for the government to grab a hold of and make part of their agenda. Working for you, hoping we, do, we have great things happening this term. Thanks, everyone.